Hey there, this is our third episode in our Kibana Rate training. So in this particular episode, we're going to be doing some simple map visualizations, basically using the GeoPoint um, field type uh, within Elasticsearch. Um, so previously we looked at um, Kibana data views and the discovery tab, and then we did some simple visualization using lenses in the classic method. So now we're going to do this special type of visualizations, which are map visualizations. So the objective here is to load some documents. So we're going to be using this uh, fastest runners data set that we've grabbed from Wikipedia. And we're going to load that data into Elasticsearch through Kibana. Then we're going to have a quick look at it uh, in the Discover tab, and then basically create some map visualizations from that. Hopefully we'll get something that looks like this at the end of this process. Uh, the steps that we're going to follow, same as the other lessons. So get this data set, which you can get from this particular repo, load it up into Elasticsearch um, with a mapping that we're specified below. So we'll just grab that here. So as I mentioned before, in a previous video, um, the mapping is the schema that Elasticsearch will use to store the data. Um, yeah, the, I guess the particular one of interest for this particular video relates to this GeoPoint um, data type and that gives us the ability to do the presentation of the documents on a map. Um, so we just copied the uh, mapping here. So we'll use that when we're loading that into Elasticsearch. Uh, we'll then create a data view and then we'll open up Discover tab and then we'll show you how we can go and make some changes or basically uh, get into the uh, map section and uh, we'll add some layers and then we'll add a time slider. Okay, so let's let's get into it. Um, so we're in Kibana over here. As I mentioned, um, you can run Kibana locally, so Kibana and Elasticsearch locally, but if you're new to the process, definitely uh, setting up a Cloud instance is going to be the quickest, fastest, and easiest. So um, yeah, whichever one you prefer. Uh, but this will be the home screen that you'll get to once you've logged on to Elasticsearch. We're going to hit upload a file. We're going to select that fastest humans new line delimited JSON file that I mentioned earlier, which has the fastest humans from Wikipedia. So we go open. So this shows us there's 102 documents. Uh, it gives us some statistics. So we're going to hit import. We're going to call this uh, runners. Again, we're going to create our data view after this ourselves so we can see how that works. If we go to advanced, we can see the default mapping that's going to be applied and this ingest pipeline. So we can drop that ingest pipeline and put our mapping here. Um, so that looks good. So we'll hit import. So this will go and load our 200, 102 documents. Let's go create a data view for that. So again, the data view is how Kibana is configured to view the index with an Elasticsearch. So we'll say runners, and we'll split the time field, which will be date, and then we'll go create data view. We're away. Um, again, we'll just go into here and look at that date field and say how we want that date displayed. Seeing it's just a, a date field, um, we, can, we can drop all this stuff and in Australia, we like dates like this, obviously different to the US. So it looks good to me and we'll hit save. And then now we can head over to the discover tab. And then we've got, um, this is our data view, so index template, so runners. And uh, if we just go here, we'll see the documents so we can so the document's sort of a, a free text kind of form there. Obviously, we've got all the power of Elasticsearch's um, free text search there. So we can search for Tokyo, um, which is great. Let's all go get that back, get everything. Um, but I guess of particular interest is the fact that we can select GeoPoint. And then if we go to these field statistics, and I think this is great. So if we click here, um, we can see the geopoints, and it actually gives us that information straight on the map from here, which I think is, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, we can also go athlete country code, and if we look at that field, uh, Kibana's smart enough to work out what country, so he says, oh, these look like country codes, and uh, it gives us a visualization of that as well. So that's straight from the Discover tab, which I think is, yeah, super amazing. Um, but let's, you'll see here, this is the sort of the map icon. 
This would take you to a terms aggregation, so a lenses explanation of the mapping data, but we want to go to our, our maps. So let's go to maps. And we'll see the geo points dumped on a map, which is looks good. So we can go in here and we can make some uh, some changes to make them a little bit bigger. So let's see them, yeah. So you can see them on the map, it looks good. And you can give them labels, uh, symbol label, label color. Oh, maybe an icon. Yep, it looks cool. Uh, very good. And we can also add tool tips. So let's say when you want to hover over that, we want to see the athlete country name. So we'll do that and hit add. So now when we tool tip over that, uh, yep, there it is. Oh, it's a bit lower than the icon. Uh, so this is the same as we can get. There you go, athlete country, which is good. So that's um, sort of that geo point visualization type. So if you go here and source, you'll see it's a geo point kind of field, which is displayed on this uh, this map. But we can add more layers, which is where the excitement starts. So we'll close it off. Uh, so add some other layers, and we can say, um, yeah, uh, heat map. Um, actually, I'll go this one. Uh, and this is administrative boundaries and then we go world countries and then we select that field which sort of maps to that within our data set which is country code so it's a ISO 31662 character country code which is what we have so we can go uh, country code and add yep so we can start seeing those countries map there so let's uh, hide this one to start with and then you can see sort of the numbers um, with, a, with a map, which is quite nice. Um, but let's again hide that one and we'll add another layer, which is heat map. And we'll go runners and we'll go athletic geo point. We're going to have one field, which is a geo point within this particular uh, index. We add layer, give it a name, um, heat map. So count, yep, looks good. And they're there, the heat map, but it's really small. So let's uh, change the resolution there. And that should make it much bigger. So we'll hit save. And over here is where you hit a timeline. So we'll use that time field that we configured. And so it said, oh, okay, for this period, uh, don't want anything in that period. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so in this period, the heat map sort of pushing towards the United States and Germany, or the middle of Europe, I think it's Germany. And then the next period, it's telling us it's just the United States is where the heat map is. And then we're bouncing across to, uh, again, strong with the United States, but a, a bit of a sort of spread between Russia, China, Canada. Uh, we've got a few different places involved. And I think this is, yeah, where we see sort of the, um, yeah, I, I guess this is either Usain Bolt or, or his predecessors where we've got um, the Caribbean coming to more fruition. And then I think again, that next period we'll have the Caribbean being very strong. And the most recent time, uh, yeah, again, the Caribbean. So yes, yeah, so that's the time slider. So yeah, that's, I guess, the maps functionality within Kibana. I think it's really powerful. It's really easy. A key thing is just to set up your documents with the appropriate mapping. Uh, and then once you've done that, yeah, you get all this functionality through this, uh, this awesome GUI. That's all I've got for lesson three. On to lesson four.